let's talk about factoring expressions. First, we have to find the GCF, which is the greatest common factor. The greatest common factor is going to be the highest number that goes into both of our terms. So here we have 10n and 15. The greatest common factor for these is 5. What can I multiply 5 by to get 10n? That would give me 2n. There's a plus sign in the middle. I multiply 5 by 3 to get 15. And then you can check your answer by using distributive property. 5 times 2n is 10n. 5 times 3 is 15. On our next example, we have the same letter for both of them, so we have to pull that out as a common factor as well. The greatest common factor between 8 and 12 is 4, and since we have the same letter, we will pull that out as well. 4y times 2 will give me 8y, and 4y times 3 will give me 12y. Again, you can always check your answer. 4y times 2 is 8y, and 4y times 3 is 12y. Go ahead and try this next one to see if you can solve that one on your own. The greatest common factor of these two would be 2. So 2 times 4n would give me 8n, and 2 times 1 would give me 2. Com dip use the distributive property to check. 2 times 4n gives me 8n, and 2 times 1 gives me 2. Sorry about that. For our last example, we have 14z and 21. Greatest common factor would be 7. Four, 7 times 2z would give me 14z, and 7 times 3 would give me 21. So again, 7 times 2z is 14z, and 7 times 3 is 21. So biggest thing to remember here is just remembering how to find GCF, and you can always look back at Greatest Common Factor videos to review that.